Hey guys, I just want to do a quick video about um, a cool, really interesting thing you could do with XBMC Android. Uh, so basically, with the help of Yahtzee, you could send um, anything from XBMC Android over to your Apple TV 3, Apple TV 2, Google TV, your any smart TV, basically anything that supports DLNA, UPnP, or AirPlay. And your Apple TV does not have to be jailbroken, but you know it only supports it's of certain codecs, so you might have to try what it supports, what it doesn't. But basically, if you have an Android device, like a phone or tablet, this is very easy to do. So basically, the first thing you want to do is download XBMC, and I will provide a link below. The second thing you want to do is go to the Android App Store and download these three applications. Yahtzee XBMC Remote, Yahtzee Unlocker, which costs $2.99, I believe, and then the Yahtzee Stream Plugin. So once you install them, then what you do is I I modified the, the player of core factory XML file to, to support Yahtzee. So basically what you want to do is uh, I make sure what open up ES ES file manager and go to and go to display settings and make sure show hidden files is checked. Alrighty, after that just go back, go back and then and then just Put the player core XML file in, on your SD card, root of it. If not, it's in your download folder. So basically, just hold it and then go to copy. And then, what you're going to do is you're going to paste it into Android data and then find xbmc.org and then go to files, xbmc, user data, and then just paste it there. Overwrite because I already had it. So basically, then what you want to do is just open up XBMC, okay, and just you know configure it how you want your add-ons, your plugins, whatever you need to do. So basically, let's just um, let's just try any of these. Let's go to yeah, all these work. Icefilms works. One channel works. It depends on you know some files are Flash or I mean sorry FLV format or but you know it depends on the Apple TV three or anything that supports it. Um, so basically, let's go to revision three. Let's just open that up just as a, a test, and then let's go to most recent. Let's turn on just anything. So basically, what's going to happen is once you click it, see, you got the little Yahtzee window come up. It says complete this action using. So basically, if you have another XBMC box, but you I mean you don't need to do it. So basically, I just click on UPnP AirPlay, and you could do always, or I just click on just once. And basically, it's going to give you a list of all your devices. See, you got like AirPlay devices, which are these two. You got XBMC, I have another XBMC box, and you got the Sony Google TV and everything. So, and I don't have a Roku box, but the Roku box will come up too. So basically, then what you do is you, you just, I'm just going to give you an example. I'm just going to like say, like, I want to click it here. See, right here, boom, and it starts playing on your Sony TV or anything. So, and then what you could do is click on back, and it goes back directly to XBMC. And then if you don't want to send it anyway, if you don't watch it, directly from your tablet or you want to send it to your Chromecast like my other video just hold the video you want and you're gonna get a little pop-up menu so just click on play using and then you, you could select anything you want all of these players to choose from so basically DVD player will play from the tablet through the XBMC player if you want to send it to the Chromecast use the Avia player which is right there or you know a Max player anything you want and that's about it so Hope this helps you guys a lot. Please subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. Thank you for watching. Enjoy.